Liam's got a pike. A monster, isn't it? Liam's saying about doubles. Net snapped. Um, he wouldn't even fit in. I, I don't know how the hell we can continue from this. How's it going, guys? Uh, today I'm with Liam. It's been, a, you know, a few videos of mine. And we're not really going for a particular species, are we? No. Yeah, we're gonna basically. I'm gonna show you what baits we're using at what times, and we're gonna see what we can get with them. So under there looks perfect for perch and other predators. So I think we're gonna go for perch first because last week when uh, me and Aaron we was actually in the same river, but just a different bit. If you watched it, I said there was uh, like four pound perch in here, and it would be pretty sweet if we catch four pound perch. Not gonna lie. So, yeah, we're gonna try and go for the perch. I'll show you what we're using when we're set up. And let's see how we do. I'm gonna start off using uh, a pike float with two triple hooks. And I know I've got a chance of getting pike, but it's still a chance to get perch. So Liam, what are you doing at the moment then? Well, basically I'm setting up with a ledger rig, sort of with a carp rig without the hair, and then I'm going to use a worm on that, basically put a little bit of rig tube in, rubber works, over the hook just to keep the worm on so it can't wriggle off. Yeah. And I'm hoping to go for chub, perch, or just any other predators so that will go for worms. Let's do this. <laughs> There we go, I've got my pike float out there. Now let's try and catch some predators to start off with. So this swim looks very good for perch. And of course, that's why I'm here. Liam has got a pike. It is a uh, bait alarm, didn't you? Yep. And I just went mad. I just went mad. Right, I'm gonna rush and get the net. Right, so this thing is a, a monster, isn't it? Liam's saying about doubles. Look at that thing. Right, right let's go. Look at that. Look what Liam has just caught. It's roughly 16 pound weighing, but we got another try. We're not 100% sure. But look at this thing. So, it's water, but you're going to need water. So we just set the scales and it's actually, was it 20, 20, yeah, so, yeah, so it was going mad, we're going to say like 21, 21, yeah. look at this thing that Liam has caught, heavy Liam, yep, and what did it do to the net, broke the net, yeah, and you, you just had to sort of get in a little bit didn't you, yeah. look at that, that is actually a monster pike. I think we're gonna let him go now. All right. Mm, it's bloody heavy. All right, we'll see you in a minute. Wow, that's all I've got to say, right, Liam? Yeah. Uh, if I can just hold this properly. Oh, I can't really see on camera, but yeah, I got cut somehow. I'm covered in stings, had to get in because the net snapped. Yeah, I'll around. show you in a minute, but the net snapped. Um, he wouldn't even fit in. And when, I don't know, about half of him got in there, yeah. we tried. We both tried to lift him up. He was that heavy, he, and then he snaps the net. But we got so lucky because he didn't just go shooting off. He stayed there. I don't know why, but we just got lucky with him. Managed to kill him, but got stung a bit. Took yeah. the shoes off, tried to get in. Like I said, deep. he was a monster. That's all I've got to say. And that was in the river. One of the best pike I've ever seen in the river. So, um, yeah, I said the net snapped. Look at it. That's what it did. Snapped it there. That was just unbelievable. That's a river memory right there. So, we did say we were going for perch, didn't we, Liam? Yeah. Four, four pound we would have loved to got. And we said, m maybe the odd pike. That, that pike was worth getting in. I'm actually speechless. Yeah, unexpected as well, but we've still got time to catch the perch. 
I can't remember if I said or not, but Liam can say what happened when he was casting. Oh uh, yeah, casting. basically I cast my leg. It went past basically where I was about to where I put my bait. Didn't think it'd go. Reeling it in. And my, I heard my alarm going, so I just kept reeling it in, thinking that I'd call my arms on it. And then <laughs> my alarm wasn't attached to it, went over. My rod was bent right down double. Struck it. Beep. And that's what you thought. I, d I don't know how the hell we can continue from this, but we're gonna try and get. Oh, gosh, I'm just speechless. Like. Yeah, a little pounds or two, and then we just catch that. I know we're making a big deal, massive deal out of it, but you don't usually catch fish that size on a daily basis. Yeah. So on that note, we've actually got to continue because we're here for loads more hours. Let's go. Smell. That's how Liam caught it. And we've got sprats with us. We've got a smell. Really, you should try buying these. So guys, um, on maggots, this is what I caught. Yep, definitely bigger than Liam's. Uh, this must be a PB. <laughs> what am I kidding? This is tiny. I think Liam has beaten his PB pike with this little minnow he's caught. He's using maggots at the moment and he's catching these little fish. Liam has got a little gudgeon. And was that on Liam? Maggots. Maggots. Almost time to go now, and down here, I've lost a little jack pike. Not once, but twice. Little sod. Gudgeon for Liam. We'll call it a day now. Um, mixed species. Yeah, okay, little ones. Like, gudgeon. Minnows, a little days, and then Liam catches that pike to start off with. So, very weird one, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Didn't try to go for pike too much, to be honest. And it's been an honour having Liam here. So, yeah, we're gonna call it that. See you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>